Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. I am Murtaza Khadri and I welcome you all to Civil Sarah. Right, so as we all know that we have started our new initiative which is Ask Us Anything. Right, Ask Us Anything, you can ask us anything about the UPSC Civil Service Examination, whether you have a doubt on strategy, how to start, uh, anything regarding motivation, how to uh, ma manage time or any subject regarding doubts if you have, if you have how to start means answer writing and anything. If you, if you have any doubts, please do ask us, please uh, go through the, uh, please do ask your doubt in the Google form, which I provided the link in the description below. And if you find our videos really helpful, please do hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the bell icon. So uh, in so today I'll be taking one of a doubt of a student named Atish who has asked one important question, which is there are different types of themes of questions being asked in the mains, like discuss, examine, critically examine, etc. So I request you to kindly provide some clarity on how to approach and a framework for these answers. Right. If possible, you can also provide a sample question. Thank you. So as you all know that in the mains uh, UPSC questions, you will be provided with some important themes, right? Important questions on the basis of th uh, discuss, examine, right? Critically examine. So how to answer these kind of keywords? What does discuss mean? What does examine means? What does analyze mean? Compare mean? What contrast mean? So in this video, I'll be helping you out in uh, getting an idea about how to answer these kind of questions. So first and foremost, whenever there is a topic with define, as you all know that define means you should provide the definition about the topic. For example, if there is a question on genetic engineering, right, genetic engineering. So you should provide the brief definition about the genetic engineering. What is this technology? right what is the importance of the technology what are the important components of the technology how does the technology works so this is what the basic idea you should provide a definition about that technology or any uh, process per se okay right so now let's move forward and understand the another keyword which is discuss what does discuss mean as you all know that we always tend right we always go into a discussion of a certain topic whether it may be something in news right we'll always discuss with our friends we always get into debates with our friends we argue and uh, we argue uh, we argue our thoughts on that topic for example recently we know that one of the important scheme right agnipat scheme has been announced by the government so most of the people have been went into discussion or debates about this agnipat scheme right F few people are for uh, what are the importance what is the importance are for the Agnipath scheme and some people are against the Agnipath scheme. So whenever you are uh, discussing about that topic, you should always provide some of the importance, right? What are the features and the importance of that topic first and you should provide for as well as against arguments. And whenever you are providing an argument, you always keep in mind to support your argument by providing data, examples, reports or whatever the you know, case studies which will help in uh, supporting your argument whether it may be for or it may be against and always whenever you are writing those kind of arguments remember to provide a conclusion for the topic right Re always remember to provide a conclusion for the topic so this is about discuss right what all you have to do you have to debate about the topic you should provide the basic idea about the topic as well as you should provide arguments for as well as against that topic Along with those arguments, you should back your arguments with effective data. Okay. After that, you uh, there is another one keyword which is explain. Another one theme which is explain. These both are quite similar, right? Whenever a explain keyword is asked, you should explain about that topic. For example, a question on anti-defection law, right? A question on anti-defection law is been asked. So, what is anti-defection law? Huh? What is anti-defection law? Which articles are included in that anti-defection law? Whether any schedule is associated with it or what are the different areas or examples of anti-defection law being taken up or what are the different instances of anti-defection law in the recent context? These kind of brainstorming things, you should always link the topic, right? And at last for as well as against the topic, you should provide a brief idea about it, right? These, this is about explain right discuss and explain both are kind of similar but you have to substantiate you have to always substantiate your arguments i hope you got it okay and now there is another keyword or another theme which is analyze right as you have discussed discuss examine analyze 
these three are similar right these three are similar but in analyze you have to break the topic for example there is one topic you have to break into sub parts you have to break into sub parts right you should always divide it into different constituent parts and go in depth analysis right in depth analysis of the topic will be taken up as same arguments for supporting as well as the arguments against will be mentioned here along with the supporting arguments but you should explain in uh, explain it in sub parts what is the topic what are the different parts of the topic like this kind of things you should mention here similar to exam i right what does assess mean all right there is another one keyword which is assess what does this assess mean right assess means to weigh up right for example if a topic is it true right is it true there is a statement given in this right this is right right regarding a scheme right uh, some data has been given you have to assess that data is it correct or not whether there is any uh, flaws in that or right you have to point out whether uh, this research has any flaws or you have to provide this flaws with data you have to provide them with data or examples this is what you have to do they will be providing you a statement and you have to assess whether is it right or wrong regarding a data or report or any scheme theek hai i hope you got it right you have got it discuss examine analyze assess theek hai and it uh, another one important theme is compare right you always have heard about compare and contrast what does compare mean comparing about two important personalities or technologies right recently one of my student has asked recently one of my student has asked uh, regarding right there was a question right compare the approach of gandhi ji as well as netaji subhash chandra bose in the indian indian national movement right you have to provide the similarities in their approach as well as the differences in their approach so this is what the compare means you have to provide similarities as well as differences in the approaches or any technology per se or any topic per se theek hai is tarike se aapko kya karna hai you have to provide a brief understanding about it theek hai i hope you got uh, got it what does compare or contrast means theek hai now one of the main important and most uh, most important theme is examine and critically examine Re right what does examine and critically examine means in here you have to look into a close detail of of the topic and examine and establish some important facts as well as important issues regarding a topic right you should always try to offer reasons for the topic if if a topic is been asked you have to provide effective reasons as well as you have to provide issues if there is any importance you should provide importance as well as any leakages or challenges is there you should always mention it even though if it is not not asked whenever there is examine and critically examine when the word critically comes right when whenever critically comes you should analyze the topic in a negative format right whether is it wrong or right and you should always substantiate it with effective data and you should always provide examine or critically examine you should provide uh, if there is critically examine you should provide more uh, negative or uh, against arguments if it is asked and less for right here in examine both for and against should be maintained in uh, similar manner i hope you got it right let's understand one important example here right in this example uh, india is the first national disaster india's first national disaster management plan may fulfill the legal requirements of having a plan but it may not be very effective in achieving the objectives of building resilience right in this topic you have to mention about the national disaster management plan what is the importance of national disaster management plan what is the need for it right what is the need for it and here he has also provided that critically analyze right we have to analyze it critically so how to analyze it critically right you have to analyze well whether it will work right and why it will not work if it is not working then what are the reasons for not working right you have to provide reasons for not working and you have to substantiate you have to substantiate these are the important things whenever you are answering the topic i hope you get it theek okay? hai and at last is comment right in comment you have to pick out the main points right comment on the topic comment on the regarding uh, uh, a statement is given you have to comment whether it is right or wrong on the basis of logic you have to use logic you have to use relevant evidence for it i hope you understood it theek okay? hai i hope you understood it so these are all important ideas important themes which you will get in your examination i have i have taken some of the important here some of the important themes there are other themes as well like critically analyze right compare discuss examine 
other things okay you have to uh, look over that also but these are the important areas how you should answer a particular thing along with that i wanted to uh, uh, give you a brief insight about do's and don'ts whenever you are practicing answer writing what are the important do's and don'ts in general right for example in the first do is always always understand the demand of the question first is understand the demand of the question and if there are two parts or three parts two sub questions are being asked answer them equitably right you have to provide each and every topic effective detail right aapko dono ke dono parts ko equally adjust karna hai equally answer karna hai this is the most important thing most of the people doesn't do it and give subheadings right and whenever you whenever you are answering the one sub part you should provide a uh, proper subheading for it and also some other subheadings regarding uh, if you are answering a topic provide one two three four subheadings and answer it substantiate it with data this is how a proper structure is being maintained okay and always don't forget to underline keywords right you should always underline the keyword and the core of your answer and use pointers right don't write in lengthy flowery paragraphs because uh, it won't be uh, examiner won't have that much time to read each and everything but prefer the pointers because this will help you to uh, address the demand effectively okay and always provide a futuristic solution or a way forward proper way forward or closure should be provided whenever you are answering these are the important things which you should keep in mind and even though if you don't have a great handwriting always provide adequate spacing you should always provide adequate space and use uh, proper line uh, proper uh, space between the lines and always maintain uh, always try to write in the straight line right always try to write in straight line this will provide more presentation better presentation in your answers these are the simple do's you should follow and what are the sim another simple don'ts which you should not keep in mind is do not spend time do not much uh, do not spend too much time on a single question right suppose a question uh, suppose there is one question if you don't know right you are wasting around 20 minutes in the single question then uh, that time won't come back right in main uh, in the mains examination you you will have always have uh, paucity of time you should always have less time so use your time wisely right always answer those questions which you know better or best right which you know which you have best knowledge always go for that and uh, if you have less knowledge then go for them at the last moment and never dump right another main important thing is never dump your knowledge right on the examiner right always address only that part which you which you which is asked right don't show your knowledge aapko bahut zyada gyan hai to bahut zyada gyan aap apne paper ke andar mat daliye right unnecessary things will uh, does not add any uh, value right always address to the demand because this will show that jo pucha hai wo bol rahe theek hai na wo address what it is asked this will add more quality authenticity leke aayega ki ha jo pucha hai wo bataya hai wo bhi acche se bataya hai right this will add more value i hope these are the simple do's and don'ts and another most important thing is always write conclusion right always write conclusion or way forward to your answers this is this will add more more important you know, this will add more marks to your uh, uh, this will add more marks to your answers theek okay? hai these are all the simple important uh, inputs which i wanted to share with you and i hope you got a brief idea then how to answer these kind of questions so i hope you loved this video please do hit subscribe and uh, like this video and share among your friends so thank you very much see you in the next session